the latest member of the Fantastic Force finally arrived in Marvel Strike Force, and I have not seen the community so apathetic over a new release character. Yes, She Hulk has finally arrived in Marvel Strike Force. We're going to do our usual thing in this video, guys. We're going to open our orbs, open some red star orbs, T4 recommendations, giveaways gameplay all that stuff guys and more importantly i will let you know if she is worth it i know you guys already have your minds made up probably but are there some surprises she has in store hopefully we answer that in this video guys and if you're ready for that find that like button let's go smash it Valley Flyer. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. Hope you're doing well. We're talking about She-Hulk in this video, guys. The community is so uh, over She-Hulk. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about her in this video. Are there some surprises? The community is expecting one thing. They've seen her kid. You've seen her kid. You know what to expect from She-Hulk. But when you actually take her into battle, are there some things that we are missing? Well, uh, that's what we're going to look for in this video. Plus, we did some orb openings. We did a bunch of things on stream this morning. Let's go. We bought the pack. We opened it on stream this morning with some red stars. Let's go do that first. And then we'll come back and talk about some T4 recommendations for our girl, She-Hulk. And make sure you guys stick around for the end, guys. There is a giveaway sponsor for our worldwide nutrition. And we're going to talk about that at the end of this video. But let's go do this orb opening, guys. And we are in the orb chamber, ladies and gentlemen. We have some red stars to open. We have some Emerald Liberator orbs to open. And we're going to open some She-Hulk. And hopefully we get lucky with this. Hopefully we're going to use up all of our luck. Because I would much rather have the luck for Anti-Venom, ladies and gentlemen. So let's open up these first. And we're going to open up 16. 16 is all we are going to open. Let's get this down to 40. If we get She-Hulk at three red stars first, we are going to stop. We're not going to open these. These are going to be safe for Anti-Venom, guys. Boom. Let's go into the orb chamber one at a time for She-Hulk. And hopefully this gives us some good luck. Uh, and hopefully we don't have to use too much bio gear to rank her up. I want to save as much as I can for anti-venom, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. First orb is nothing. It is a green six. Not very good luck. Let's wait for the crane to move around a little bit more. See if that uh, ups our chances a little bit. Nope. It is still green. Six. The bare minimums. We might have, we might have used up a lot. Ugh. Used up our luck, but that is okay. I don't want to use up our luck for She-Hulk. I want to save our luck for Anti-Venom. I, I hope at least we get the unlock, though. It's a shame to spend this money, not get the unlock of She-Hulk. We are doing very, very bad. Let's let's stop. Let's stop this right now and go to open some of these. Let's maybe maybe the luck is not with She-Hulk. It's in the red stars. So, oh, there's something right there. Oh, we're done. That is all the red stars that we have to open. Nice. We can save them all for uh, anti-venom. I love it. Let's go back on these. And hopefully we can at least unlock her. Oh, we are green again. My goodness. 79. 79. We got four more. All right. I think we will unlock her. I think it is if we even get the minimums. But oh my goodness. we. I think we've gotten all minimums so far. Still more green. Still more green. <laughs> Horrible. We're at 85. <laughs> We need 15 more. We might just barely unlock her. Oh, there it is again. Green. <laughs> Come on. We need at least a blue. Give me a blue. I'm not even wanting a purple or uh, gold. Give me a blue. Oh, green again. Oh, it's at least it's an eight. We got two more than the minimum, the bare minimum. But this is the worst orb opening for the most unexciting character ever. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Let's do this. Oh, another green. Gosh, guys. So, was it worth the 50 bucks? I don't know. Let's go recruit her. And uh, hopefully they patch this with this neck. Because there's something wrong with this neck. She's jotting her neck out and looking very weird. Very weird pose. We, we get... The, oh, my goodness. So, so disappointing with this. But at least it was not disappointment on Anti-Venom. That is a saving grace here, ladies and gentlemen. So... There we go. We're going to build her up. We will be right back. A little look at her T-Fords. And uh, we'll take her into battle. Begrudgingly building her up and taking her into battle, guys. All right, and we are back. These are all the resources I was willing to put into shield. Got her up to level 60. So got her skills 6664, the important 6664. So we can test her skills out at a basic 
level. Only got her up to tier seven. Normally, with these new release characters, try to get them to gear tier nine, gear tier 10. They don't want to use a lot of bio gear. So this is all the tests we're going to do with She-Hulk. Uh, and then no ISO eight right now. But let's go take a look at her skills. See if any, which of these skills would be worth investing some T4s in. Let's start with Gamma Slam. All of this is doing 60% damage to the primary target. So boring, so uninteresting. I would not invest in this, even if this is a really, really good character. Unless I'm using this character a lot, which I don't know if there's going to be a lot of use for She-Hulk. So this T4, not recommended at all. E even if you have a five or six red star She-Hulk, I, I don't know if you're going to get as much usage out of that move to make it worth that T4 investment. Let's move on to the next move or special injunction. You're going 60% damage to the primary target and you're healing for 10% more of max health. So more damage here. This goes up to 340% damage and her healing goes up to 30% of her max health every time she takes a turn. This is a four turn cooldown. So you're getting this not, not super often, but often enough that it can make a difference. This is a decent T4. And if you are getting the usage out of Shioke, I would recommend this one, but I don't know. If you're if you're using Neymar in war offense uh, and not you really using She-Hulk, then no. No, definitely not this T4. Let's move on to her ultimate controlled rage. Uh all this is adding is 60% damage to the primary target. So boring, just like the basic. Not recommended, especially with a five turn cooldown. This move is not coming very often, guys. So, yes, not recommended at all. But the most interesting one is this one, in my opinion, right here, guys. Her passive on turn. Healing self for 10% of this character's max health with the T4 in it goes up to 15% of her max health. So she's healing on her special. She's healing with her passive on every turn she takes. She's a slower character, so it's not happening that much, but getting a little extra heal. Now, on maximum charge, you're getting 20% damage to all targets. Now, what does the charge do? And you're getting extra 10% damage per charge, but when an enemy attacks a Fantastic Four ally, that's when you start to gain charge. You get a maximum of five and you're doing a bunch of things. What you're doing, all the negative effects from self and the Fantastic Four allies goes to the enemy with the most damage. That is nice. Removing debuffs on her passive or, or her passive when the, she gets full charge. Uh, then you're going to attack the enemy for 200% damage instead of the 180 with this T4 and then 150% damage with the T4. So getting a little extra damage there. Then the charges goes away and it starts all over again every time you attack a Fantastic Four ally. And on war defense, more damage. Instead of this 20% damage, goes up to 30%. So pretty decent. And in order, guys, I think it's pretty obvious. Passive is the best. Special is the next best. Obviously, usage is going to determine whether you should use your T4 materials. But I probably would not even do the basic. Not waste your time with the ultimate either. So that is it. Let's go take her into battle right now. And we did this on stream this morning. Still trying to get familiar with the character at that point. So uh, there are some mistakes being made, but even with that, it should showcase some of the things that I wanted to see from she -Oak, even at this low, low power level, so much lower than the rest of the Fantastic Four. But let's go take a look at that footage and I will be back with my big determination if she is worth it. All right, we are in battle. Normally we test 8.3 against the defenders for a full team, but yeah, as you can see, very, very low She-Hulk. And we're going to go into against the Asgardians, as recommended by chat. Very low Loki, so this might be a benefit for us. I would have preferred a low Hela here, but Loki is the matchup for uh, She-Hulk. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what happens, guys. Here we are back in battle. Let's see what happens here. Loki is the weak one, so let's see if we can use that to our advantage. She-Hulk, almost dead. Let's see if we get Loki right here, though, and avoid some of that stealth there. Now they cannot... Uh, going to stealth on his second turn, but She-Hulk is already dead. All right, tier 8.0 did not work, especially with the low level She-Hulk, the protector on the team that should be protecting, not really doing her job though. So not really offering too much in the way of protection, not offering too much in the way of uh, controlling the enemy, supporting the team or damage. So not really offering too much to the team right now. We got this mixed team right here. Again, I would like the low person on this list to be either a Hulk or Captain America. Unfortunately, that is that is the two biggest characters on this team. Scarlet Witch is the low one. We, we might not even be able to win at tier seven, guys, but let's go test this for science. Let's see what happens. Let's see if She-Hulk could do a little bit more than she did in that last battle because, oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was very, very disappointing. Another battle, another attempt. Let's see, Scarlet Witch is the weak one. 
I want to try to get to Hulk and not throw him into this uh, lowered energy state, the lowered health state. Let's work on, I guess, I guess Venom is the one to work on. All right, Carnage or uh, Scarlet. Let's go Scarlet Witch. That's the weak one. All right, she's gone. She's dead. Eliminated. And can, can she all get a turn this time? I don't know if she even took a turn last time. Throw under stealth. Oh, but now she's now she's not going to stealth. Oh, what happened there? Why didn't we go to stealth? Oh, we, did, we didn't do stealth. We did the barrier. My bad. Attention to details, ladies and gentlemen. Very important. All right. Carnage. Going in there. Going after Carnage. Don't want to get after the Hulk. Oh, now we finally get this look at her skills. Finally, she's surviving long enough. So, primary target. Applying taunt to the most injured enemy. That would be Carnage right there. So that's not bad. Let's use this one. Let's take it on to one X speed so we can see the animations. Oh, and then now we're going to go with most injured enemy. Deadpool coming out. No, Carnage coming after you. Oh. Oh. Protected just like rubber. All right, here we go. Now we can start working on carnage with the thing and oh we took him out we took down some of their damage dealers we still have the hulk to worry about i don't want to throw him into uh the lowered state he could just aoe eliminate our she hulk because she's so squishy we need to protect our protector right here guys oh uh, oh she took the hit she took the hit from hulk but he's taunting again and unfortunately back into above 50 percent health now we're going to try to put everybody into stealth and She-Hulk does not go into stealth. Gains that taunt. Uh, does not have a defense up to remove. This is some big damage. And She-Hulk is probably going to die after this move, unfortunately. Let's take her. Let's, no, does not take. Oh, there he goes. Now goes into. And here comes the big move. She-Hulk. Oh, survives again. That is that is pretty uh, insane. Let's go to, to 1x speed. Let's get the taunt here. Oh, nice damage. Nice animations. That, that's, I like that animation. And now she's taunting, which will get her killed. But she gets a little bit of a health, little health boost right there. A little extra. But Hulk is uh, still a problem. Let's see if we can work him. Get that, de that death proof off of him with thing. One, two. And then Mr. Fantastic, do we get an extra hit? All right. It looks like all of the death proofs were, were gone. And does the does thing counter... Oh, Invisible Woman gets the counter. Nice. Oh, Rock Throw. I love that. There's that There's that uh, passive of hers working. Looking very nice. Next target. Probably not Captain America. Probably Deadpool. Let's go after Deadpool here. He is the one that can kill. He can kill She-Hulk with his special. When that special comes up. So let's see if we can get him before that special comes up. Lots of blades. Let's look. He's coming up right here. She may be gone right after this Deadpool move. Let's see if we can get a turn before. Nope. There goes She-Hulk. Oh, does she survive? Does she survive? No, she does not. Expected. All right, we could throw this on auto. We could throw this on auto at this point. This Fantastic Four should take him out. All right, so She-Hulk. Very low level. Helped at tier seven with these lower level enemies. Maybe a little better once we get her up. All right, guys, and there she was in battle. Very disappointing against that Asgardian team. She did not even take a turn, but beefier than I thought, especially that 20k power level. Very, very low power, and she took a few more hits than I thought, so I am thinking, I am suspecting, once you get to 50, 60k, that's that's where I think I need the characters usable to be able to place them on war defense confidently. I think she, she will be a good addition to that team if you want to shift the Fantastic Four from war offense to war defense, and that is a big if, guys, so that is the big determination if you're going to use ward defense. I think eventually she'll be worth it, putting some resources in. But right now, that $50 price point, especially with that high price point, no, not at all. Is she worth it for you to go blitz? Sure, more character shards are good. But I'm not even sure if she's worth investing a lot of gear in right now, especially with anti-venom coming to the game. So overall recommendation, at least at this point in the game, no, not worth it at all. I would not spend $50 on this character if I was not making a video. And hopefully enough of you guys watch this to make it worth it. But uh, it is time for the giveaway now, guys. Uh, if you want to get a She-Hulk of your own, and and you can use the, the winnings on a different character, Worldwide Nutrition is sponsoring a She-Hulk giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. All you need to do to enter, 
Find that link in the description, get in your details, and the winner will be picked at random by the folks over at Worldwide Nutrition, and you'll be contacted via the email that you enter the contest with. So make sure you enter an email that you can be contacted at. Uh, that is it, guys. Oh, actually, one more thing. If ever, for all every $100 of supplements purchased through that affiliate link from Worldwide Nutrition, another She-Hulk offer. So yes, one but potentially unlimited offers based on how much sales. So make sure you use that link. If you're running low on supplements, guys, aminos, pre-workouts, protein powders, all kind of stuff. There's guys, fat burners, the upcoming gamer drink, 25% off your entire order. So if you are running low on your supplements, uh, check out that link and see if you can get a discount. And uh, thanks once again to the folks over at Worldwide Nutrition for sponsoring this giveaway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, all that usual stuff, guys, share this with your friends. Smash on that like button. Subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. And click on that notification bell as well. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I stream every morning, every weekday morning on Twitch. So hopefully you guys can come hang out. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hulk fist bump, baby. Valley flying. Out!